Hi, I'm Kathy with Level Up RN. In this video, I will be discussing raloxifene, which is a selective estrogen receptor modulator. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little quiz to test your understanding of some of the key facts from the video. So be sure to stay for that. And if you have our Level Up RN pharmacology flashcards, go ahead and pull out your flashcard on raloxifene so you can follow along with me and pay close attention to the bold red text on the back of the card because those are the things that you are likely to get tested on. Raloxifene, which is brand name Avista, is a selective estrogen receptor modulator that is used in the prevention and treatment of postmenopausal osteoporosis. This drug is also used to reduce the risk of invasive breast cancer in select postmenopausal women. Of note, tamoxifen is another selective estrogen receptor modulator, but tamoxifen has some key differences in indications, mode of action, and side effects as compared to raloxifene. So tamoxifen is covered in a separate video. In terms of raloxifene's mode of action, raloxifene binds to estrogen receptors in the bone acting as an agonist. This increases bone formation and decreases bone resorption. Our pull chicken hint to help you remember this is to think raloxifene helps to fix osteoporosis. And you'll notice that fix is spelled backwards in raloxifene. In addition to binding to estrogen receptors in the bone, raloxifene also binds to estrogen receptors in the breasts and uterus. At those sites, raloxifene acts as an antagonist and blocks the effect of estrogen on those specific tissues. Key side effects of raloxifene include hot flashes and leg cramps. In addition, this medication carries a black box warning due to an increased risk for a thromboembolism, such as a PE, DVT, or stroke. Therefore, raloxifene is contraindicated in patients who have a history of a venous thromboembolism. During therapy with raloxifene, the patient's bone density should be monitored in order to evaluate treatment effectiveness. In terms of patient teaching, you should advise your patient to immediately report any signs and symptoms of a thromboembolism. So for example, leg pain and swelling could indicate the presence of EDVT, and chest pain and shortness of breath could indicate the presence of a pulmonary embolism. It's also important that your patient maintain an adequate intake of calcium and vitamin D and take any supplements as ordered by their provider. You should also emphasize the importance of weight-bearing exercise to help stimulate bone formation and improve bone density. All right, it's quiz time, and I have three questions for you. Question number one, raloxifene binds to blank receptors in the bones, breasts, and other tissues. The answer is estrogen. Question number two, what black box warning is associated with raloxifene? The answer is an increased risk of a thromboembolism. And question number three, which of the following are common side effects associated with raloxifene? Select all that apply. A, polyuria. B, leg cramps. C, hot flashes. And D, bleeding. The answers are B and C. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If so, be sure to hit that like button. Take care and good luck with studying. In this video, I will be discussing raloxifene, which is a selective estrogen something. Raloxifene also binds to... We invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. And if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and let us know what you found to be particularly helpful.